Today, I'm going to show you how to set up an iPhone for child's proxy via a hotspot that was set up on my Mac. First, I will show you how to set up a hotspot on my Mac. Then, I will show you how to set up an iPhone to connect to its hotspot. So first, let's go to the system preference and sharing. Then select the network that my computer connected to. to. Right now, here is uh, Ethernet 2, and share this network to the Wi-Fi. And then click uh, Wi-Fi option, and fill the network name, whatever you want. Here, I put a hometown and the password for it. Then click OK, apply for it. So now you can see my Wi-Fi connect to first. So let's enable the internet sharing. Then you will see my husband's hometown is turned it on. So next, let's see how to set up iPhone to connect the child's proxy. Then go to the child's proxy menu, help, to check the local IP address. I put this on side, then go to iPhone, open the browser Safari, and access Google. So right now, we don't see any traffic goes through the child's proxy. So next step, let's go to the setting, network. and connect uh, my husband's hometown. Okay, after the hometown connect, click the I to check the detail info of the Wi-Fi hometown. So click the menu and put the IP address that we got from Charles. Put it on the server. I also put a port with 8888, that is the default port for the child's proxy. Of course, you can change this port number if you set up a different port number in child's proxy. So save it, go back to the browser. Let's reaccess the Google, so we see traffic goes through the child's proxy. So next step, let's do one more search for the hello words. So right now we can see a lot of traffic goes through the child's proxy. So that's good. But we still see some SSL handshake issue for some HTTPS request. So next step, we will try to install the SSL certificate for child's proxy to fix this issue. So go to the browser, input the child's proxy dot com slash and get SSL enter then just follow the steps to finish SSL certificate installation process. So after install SSL certificate, you should see all traffic over the HTTPS. Okay, last one more thing to mention is don't forget to enable SSL proxy applying to all the hosts and the port number by going to your child's menu, proxy, SSL proxy settings, select SSL proxy, and put star in host and port to apply to all HTTPS requests and response.